welcome to the video guys. You might remember I posted a few videos the other day critical of the police and their handling of the protests, essentially letting these protesters do whatever they wanted with the police just standing by as we saw in Bristol and of course in London with the police running off, letting them chase them around the streets which as I said at the time was only going to embolden more and more people to do similar things against the police in future. Well, last night I was proved right in Hackney as some of you might have heard with the attack on two police officers there who were trying to arrest a man who had been pointed at by members of the public as the perpetrator of an assault. Well, during the coppers' attempts to arrest this man, other people came in attacking the police officers with kicks and punches as he was on the floor wrestling with the man who was trying to fight him in an attempt to avoid being arrested. This is the sort of thing that the protests were always going to cause, especially when you factor in the Metropolitan Police's weak performance over the weekend, as I've said. This, of course, all boils down to the Met's chief, who is clearly incompetent and allowing this shit to continue, which only furthers the strength of my point in in yesterday's video on the subject, but we have this Daily Mail article talking about what actually happened last night in Hackney and showing the videos. Now, thankfully the officers are okay, but question needs to be asked about their ability to deal with situations and whether they should be patrolling Hackney in just pairs or, as I think, in at least groups of four or six. Because of what's been going on, in my opinion, this is only going to increase. The Daily Mail's article headlines, We are not society's punch bag. Met Police Federation boss condemns sickening attack on PC, who was filmed being kicked while passerby posed for selfie as he warns dangerous facing police are escalating, which obviously they are, but they've made a rod for their own back with obviously the help of the media and politicians. Officers were responding to an assault in Hackney, East London when they were assaulted yesterday. Both officers, a man and a woman, suffered minor injuries with one of the officers being punched in the head. Two men, aged 20 and 38, were arrested on suspicion of assaulting an officer and remain in police custody. Well, if I'm honest, I see at least three people attacking them, possibly four. Maybe I need to watch the video again, but there should have been three people arrested for assault on police at the end of the day. And it's not really suspicion, is it? We've got the video evidence to back it up, as you will see in a moment. The police are not society's punch bag, a boss representing frontline officers has said after one of his colleagues was attacked as he tried to tackle a suspect, as laughing passers-by posed for selfies without coming to his aid. No, most of the passers-by that were there actually decided to join in and attack the old Bill, including hitting a woman because they must all be really big men. Ken Marsh, chairman of the Metropolitan Police Federation, which represents rank-and-file officers, warned attacks on officers seem to be increasing as footage emerged of the shocking scenes, which unfolded yesterday on a London street and were filmed from a nearby car before appearing online. Which, actually, in the video, you hear someone in the car saying you shouldn't be filming this, you'll get in trouble. No, it's good that they filmed it because we now have it on public record with evidence, so the person filming it in their car should be thanked. Though, I'm doubtful that was the reason reason why they did it. They show a uniformed PC tackling a man to the ground in Hackney, North East London, before the other men aim punches and kicks at the officer and a man appears brandishing a baseball bat, which, from what I can tell, luckily, he didn't actually use it. As to why they bothered bringing it out is another question, obviously, but maybe they should be pulled up on that because they've obviously gone to the scene of a fight with maybe the intent of using it. Surely that is against the law, so surely the police can have him on that. I would expect to be arrested if I'm carrying a baseball bat around with the intent of possibly clapping someone round the head with it. As a crowd gathers, rather than coming to the PC's aid, people instead pose for mobile phone selfies with the officer grappling in the background and jostle with his female colleague. Home Secretary Pretty Patel led the condemnation, describing the attacks as sickening, shocking and disgraceful, while Mr Marsh said, we are not society's punch bags. We have families, we want to go home at the end of every shift but the dangers are stark and seemingly escalating. Well, when the Met Police's response to what was going on down in London with the disruptions and the actual violence, what do you really expect? 
The Met Police should leave people who are peacefully protesting and not doing nothing wrong, as they are, obviously. But anyone who's throwing missiles or causing criminal damage should instantly be arrested, taken out of the crowd and locked up. You know, much the same as it would be if any other protest was going on. All of this, at the end of the day, falls on Cressida Dick's shoulders, along with, of course, the snivelling shit weasel that is Sadiq Khan. Meanwhile, the National Chair of the Police Federation, John Apter, described the scenes as stomach-churning and said, How dare people stand by and video my colleagues in distress? The suspect the policeman was tackling had been pointed out to police by members of the public, following reports of an assault, the Met said last night. Well, I can tell you why people just stood by and videoed it, because that is a common theme. And also, when you factor in what has been happening over the last few weeks, and especially over the weekend, people feel emboldened to just attack the police, as I said the other day they would, when I covered what happened over the weekend. And here we have the videos. I'll put all three of them together that are in this article and play them one after the other, then we'll continue reading. You're gonna get into big trouble for video on this one. You'll copy yourself out. I'm so dead. This is crazy. Jesus Christ, man. I've never seen that necklace in my life. Well, that was a complete shit show. I have got to say, ratings to this woman copper who jumped in and did her best, even if it was pretty piss poor. She did technically help the other guy get up, so that allowed them to actually take control of the situation. And as you see by the last clip, a shitload of old Bill eventually arrived and started arresting these people. Hopefully, they get the maximum sentence possible, because that is what they fucking deserve. And as for this complete fucking imbecile that you see here, what a jackass. It's a shame I couldn't find out who it was, so I could get the video that he made to play it on here. And there's Pretty Patel's tweet, we don't really care about that, we've already read what she said, oh, I'm just gonna say it here. Taking to Twitter after seeing the footage, Miss Patel branded it sickening, shocking and disgraceful. My thoughts are with the outstanding officers who were subject to this disgusting violent attack, she said. Two men, aged 20 and 38, were arrested on suspicion of assault following the incident which left both officers with minor injuries but not needing hospital treatment. Now, you might have all sat there saying, this is Diane Abbott's constituency. Has she come out defending the police? And I can tell you now, I have literally, at the time of recording, checked her Twitter, and not a single word on the situation. So, she clearly does not support the police in her own area, who are trying to keep law and order. I would say I am shocked, but to be honest, I'm really not. Hackney's own Borough Commander, Marcus Bennett, said, This, this is, is truly despicable, and society should never accept such behaviour. We are here to protect you. The officers are safe. 
but clearly shaken and incredibly brave too. Arrest will be made. This must stop. And I can tell you now, Mr. Barnett, society does not and will never accept this behaviour. Trust me, they really won't. It is disgraceful. London Mayor Sadiq Khan said, I utterly condemn the disgraceful attack on two Metropolitan Police officers. Oh, well, at least you've come out and condemned it. It's a lot more than Diane Abbott has done. These brave officers were doing their duty and assisting the public. We owe them a debt of gratitude and I wish them a full and speedy recovery. Well, why don't you actually take control and start doing something you incompetent moron? Because the police wouldn't be doing this if you wasn't such an idiot like the Metropolitan Police Chiefs who pander to these disgraceful thugs as we saw on the weekend. Attacks on our police will not be tolerated unless, of course, you're in part of a protest march. Then it's fine with Sadiq Khan and Cressida Dick. I urge anyone with information to come forward to ensure the perpetrators of this disgusting attack feel the full force of the law. Well, that's not something they're ever going to do because the full force of the law is pretty piss poor in this country, if you ask me. The two officers were flagged down at 3.30pm yesterday afternoon by a member of the public who reported an assault. The victim pointed out their attacker and officers went to speak to those involved, the Met said. As an officer attempted to speak with those involved, one of the men resisted and a struggle ensued. A number of other people became involved while the officer was on the ground. Yet, yeah, because they're all a bunch of snivelling shit weasels with the spine of an octopus, as you see in the video, as soon as the copper gets up with his baton out, they are all backing off because they know the jig is up then and they ain't going to be able to take him down because he might well lump him with his baton. Put it shared online shows a uniform officer with his arm around the suspect's neck. He appears to try and throw the suspect to the ground, but instead, they both end up on their backs. As the officer calls for backup, the man he was trying to detain repeatedly shouts, leave me the fuck alone, while holding one of the officer's wrists. Four people, two on bike, quickly crowd around the altercation. Two more men arrive, one carrying a baseball bat. Seconds later, a punch appears to land on the back of the officer's head, who is still on the floor. As a member of the crowd leans over to shout at the officer, his colleague arrives at the scene and screams at the crowd to get back. When she attempts to push the crowd away, they grab at her arms and begin to shout at her. One of the crowd then dances in front of the altercation while appearing to take a selfie, as we see. In a separate video, members of the crowd are seen kicking at the female officer's legs as she tries to break apart her colleague from the suspect. Superintendent Martin Ralston from the Central East Command Unit said this incident, which was captured on somebody's mobile phone, is truly shocking. My officers went to the assistance of a member of the public who asked for their help. After stating that they had been assault, what happened next is a reminder of the risks our officers take whilst going about their duties. It is fortunate that their injuries are not more serious. There is no place for this level of violence on our streets. I think you'll find that sort of violence is probably common for Hackney, though it's usually not so openly against the old bill. You have the weekend to thank for that, don't you? We are engaging with our community partners to discuss what happened, and I hope that anyone who witnessed what happens comes forward and speaks with us. John Apter, chairman of the Police Federation, slammed the horrific stomach-churning scenes. Disgusting behaviour from those who attack the officers, those who film what's going on, and those who do nothing. They are cowards, the lot of them, he said. Yes, I would agree with that, though the people who filmed it did get something for the record, so there is something good in at least one person filming it, so we have some evidence to convict these people. There should be absolutely no reason why these people are not put in prison for this assault on police. In an interview on BBC Radio 4's Today programme, he said there had been a 27% increase in officers being injured in assaults over the last 12 months, while there were more than 30,000 attacks on officers in England and Wales alone in 2018 to 20. 2019, equivalent to 85 every single day. And let me tell you, over the next couple of weeks, I guarantee that is going to increase even more than the 27% we have seen over the last 12 months. He added, I've got mixed feelings on things being videoed because on one hand, how dare people stand by and video my colleagues in distress. Far too many stand back rather than assist anybody in trouble. I accept we have to manage our own risks, but when people are in trouble, as a citizen, you should step forward, which is exactly what I would do. It's almost like a hobby now for some to video an attack on police officers and put it on social media, 
not to assist an investigation, but to mock my colleagues and to almost encourage violence against them. Which, as I said with the people who recorded the video earlier, they likely weren't doing it for good reasons, though I still think it's a good thing that they did, because as I've said multiple times, we now have unrefutable evidence. Our colleagues need to be given the equipment and support to be able to defend themselves and other members of the public. And sometimes we worry too much about what things look like on our television screen rather than the safety of my colleagues. And I would 100% agree with that. They do need more tools to be able to defend themselves and the chiefs in the Metropolitan Police are too worried about what they look like on Twitter or in the media, which as we've seen with the media at the moment, they are trying to push their agenda more than you've ever seen before. Mayor of Hackney, Philip Glanville told followers, anyone seeing these videos tonight will be as shocked and horrified as I am by this attack on two Hackney police officers. My thoughts are with both officers and praise their bravery when faced with this situation. Our police are here to protect us and scenes like this are unacceptable. Meanwhile, Sean Bailey, the Conservative candidate for next year's mayoral elections, linked the incident to the Black Lives Matter protest, because obviously it is, which saw police criticised for failing to take a tougher line with demonstrators. This is what happens when you try to appease the mob, he tweeted, you lose control of the streets. And I would 100% agree with him, though I'm not sure he's actually going to be the Conservative candidate for next year's mayoral elections. There are reports that they want to get someone in with bigger name recognition possibly Sajid Javid, but we don't know for sure. On Monday, Priti Patel told MPs that at least 35 officers had been injured during Black Lives Matter protests in London as she said she salutes their bravery. No, she said 35 officers had been seriously injured. There was something more like 55 officers in total who had received injuries during these protests, 13 from a few days before last weekend, and at least 49 over the weekend during, as the BBC said, mostly peaceful protests. And the rest of it is just what I've covered in previous videos. I'm not going to bother going over it again now. You get the point. The police have obviously been sold out by the powers that be and has just allowed these people to think they can willy-nilly just take on the police as and when they want. This is the best video of them all, showing the old bill coming in and taking control. It's a shame there weren't greater numbers of them in the beginning because none of this would have happened. Now, as always, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who supports the channel and my other social media links are down in the video description. If you want to come and support me on Twitter, BitChute and a variety of other platforms, including my second YouTube channel. As I said, all links are down in the video description. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors, slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. <laughs>